Okay, so just wanted to show you how much I took off of this thing. Um, took off quite a bit. I spent the better part of yesterday and today doing it. So as you can see, I took off quite a bit from this thing. Um, but I tried it with and without the gasket and it doesn't seem to rub anymore. So I think we're all set. So let's go ahead and uh, put it on. I think she's on there, so we're going to call that a success. Okay, so uh, I'm guessing you're probably wondering why this still, video is still going when I said I was done. Um, well, <laughs> that pan did not work. Um, unfortunately, it was um, hitting, and I'll show you where it was hitting. Um, I tried cutting off some of the uh, front of the windage tray. Um, unfortunately, that did not work. and. This little piece of the uh, bottom of the cap, uh, I think it was the bolt that's on the uh, the rod cap there, it was just it was just hitting it the pan just a little bit at the front port where it was um, um, you know it had a little that little notch for clearance, but it wasn't enough and unfortunately it was hitting the pan. So um, with that said, had to send it back. Pain, um, relatively painless um, from Jegs. They um, we're pretty good about it. Um, I've been happy with their service so far. Uh, they've been giving me a military discount on their account. Um, so I've actually been pretty happy with it, and it was a relatively uh, painful uh, return process. No shipping um, that needed to be paid or anything on my on my side. So um, it was actually uh, pretty easy. Um, so that being said, I'm going to try this again. Um, and this time I uh, swapped for the um, um, swap for the older revision. Um, this is the uh, 3022, I believe, or 3021. Sorry, uh, 3021, I believe. This is the first generation pan. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys a couple of quick measurements, real quick, um, and then we'll put it on. Um, I just kind of dry fitted it just now. Um, it seems like it's got a lot more clearance. So if you have the same issue that I did right uh, around here where it was kind of rubbing up against there um, with not enough clearance, um, then you'd probably want to go with this pan. Um, so, um, you know, obviously we'll see what happens um, when I get it in the car. Hopefully this, you know, this added, uh, added uh, thickness here doesn't, you know, hit the, hit the uh, uh, K-member. Um, we'll see. All right, so um, just from outward appearances, it looks like the depth of the pan is probably about the same as the uh, the newer revision. Um, again, the only real difference that I could see is the length of the actual um, sump came out a little bit farther on the newer revision, um, and then this part, the front part of the of the pan, was um, a little bit lower. So I'll give you the measurements on that. Um, Looks like it's about two and a half inches, I'd say, probably. Um, two and a half, two and three quarters um, inches depth on the front side of the pan. Um, again, here the total total depth of it is, uh, looks like about five and three quarters at its deepest. Um, so that's not too bad. Yeah, it's still, still shaving off, so uh, like about two inches or so. Um, so that's it. Um, so that's the difference between um, the uh, the original and the uh, new revision. So um, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, put this on and see what happens. As I said, I already dry fitted it. It seems like it's got plenty of clearance, so I don't think there's gonna be any clearance issues. The only clearance issues I'm worried about are if it's gonna be hitting the uh, the subframe um, when I put it in the car. But I guess the only way to figure that out is to. Uh, get it in there and I'm, I'm guessing that if there is any kind of clearance issues maybe we can adjust the, the engine mounts um, to either push it up higher or you know maybe move it back or something we'll see um, but anyway um, so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, put this on it should be pretty self-explanatory um, and we'll just go from there okay so this is take two. I'm actually really hopefully going to install the oil pan and uh, windage tray and front cover this time. Uh, I think I have all the right parts. So um, here's 
The uh, windage tray, I, as you can see, I chewed it up pretty good, so this is going to be scrap. Um, so I did get another one. Um, I put the part number in my last video, um, but uh, the part number is 126-111-29. Uh, so here's the actual tray I'm going to use. It looks like based on the oil pump design for this particular pan that I'm not going to have to modify this at all. So um, we will give it a try and see what happens. So let's get to it. Hopefully this will be the last time. Um, again, all these bolts get torqued down to uh, 18 foot pounds. So let's try again. Yep, that will fit just fine. Um, the only thing I don't like about this particular pickup tube other than the, the new one is that this one only has the one side um, with the bolt. So unfortunately, I guess that's just kind of the nature of the beast for this particular uh, pan, but uh, oh well.
Well, I think we're all set here. Uh, everything's torqued down. Um, I'm not finding any interference here, so I'm gonna roll with it. Um, <laughs> I guess I over torqued this. I don't know, maybe this isn't supposed to be at 18 foot pounds, but uh, I don't know what happened. I over torqued it and snapped. Um, it's in the rear cover, so I um, guess probably created more work for myself because now I'm have to replace that rear cover. But it's not a big deal. Um, was, contemplating if I wanted to replace it anyway just because you know want new seals and stuff like that so there's no oil leaks um, but yeah I think this is all set and um, looks looks good thanks for watching